Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be having a look at a brand new game, Apex Legends, the board game by Glass Cannon Unplugged. A big thank you to Glass Cannon Unplugged for sponsoring the channel and sending me out the prototype copy of Apex Legends, the board game. In this video, I'm going to go through all the contents of the box, introduce you to the game, which is a board game with a lot of skirmish game elements built into it. So if you're into skirmish gaming and you're one of the over 100 million people who've played Apex Legends online, I think you're going to love this. I'll show you the models up close as we work through the video. The models are fantastic. You're going to get all different abilities that you'll be familiar with from the video game. And the idea with Apex Legends is it's going to be a quick, easy game to get into. But that doesn't mean it's simple. There's lots of tactics involved. It's a diceless game mechanic, so we're going to be using tokens. And the way it's set up, there should be some really good replay value in this game. So let's get started and we'll first of all have a look at the battlefield and the terrain which all comes in the starter box. Here we go then. So these are the buildings that come in the box set and these are foldable and ready to play. So all you need to do is just put them together. You're going to get two components for each building. They fit really snug so they're going to be solid, certainly not flimsy when they're on the tabletop. But when you first get them they'll be flat packed so when you finish playing you can put them back in the box and then all you do is slide them together like this and you're good to go. And there's a good number of buildings in here so you can stack it up, make lots of different layouts on the battlefield. These are going to give you lots of cover. There's going to be height variations, so you can get some advantages over your opponents. So really nice to get these included. You can see all together there's going to be eight of these different sized buildings. The battlefield board consists of four game tiles, and these are just over 12 inches, around 31 centimetres each. There's also a nice selection of different barricades. You've got half walls, short walls, medium and long walls. So again, loads of ways to block that line of sight and get some extra cover. These walls are made of thick card and they come with two little stands that you just put underneath. You just clip them on and then that helps the walls to stand up. Right, now we're on to the best bit, the characters and the models. And each model is going to come with its own ability cards, feet cards, tokens, and you're going to get some markers as well. These are all boiling down all the elements of the game so that you really get to feel exactly what you got from the video game but on the tabletop. So you'll, I'm sure you're going to recognise some of these abilities and special feats if you played the game. So that's the cards for the Bangalore character but here's the model and these are 40 mil so they're a little bit bigger than the games I'm used to. Usually I'm playing 28, 32 mil but these are 40 mil. And that's just allowing a ton of detail in this model. Now I've got these Zenital Prime, so you're going to have to do that yourself when you get yours. But these are going to be great for some contrast paints. Next up, we've got Bloodhound. This is probably my favourite character out of the four that are included in the box set. He's got crows, so I've got to like that. It matches my logo and just looks so cool. He's also getting the two ability cards, eight feet cards, two ability tokens, a Bloodhound miniature that you'll see in a minute, and then he comes with two of the Raven miniatures to accompany him on the battlefield. And you can see there's some nice artwork on the back of those cards too. But here's the model, again 40 mil, and that detail is so crisp with all the details in there. It's going to take contrast paint really well, so I think if you do do a Zenital Prime, you'll have no problem getting this ready for battle really quickly. But you don't have to paint it, you could use it straight out of the box and use the little rings that come with the models, and they've got the coloured rings that go around the bases so they stand out. But I think if you're going to get these, make that bit extra effort, get them painted up, they're going to look awesome. And I'll certainly be doing that ready for the battle report that's coming on the channel next week. And here's the two Ravens, these look great, really nice. And then you could just leave them like this in the clear black plastic or again paint them up. I'm definitely painting them. Next we've got another character, Gibraltar. Again, this one's going to come with ability, feet cards, tokens and the miniature. But you're also going to get some other little markers and miniatures. A defensive bombardment miniature that you'll see in a moment. And again, the artwork on the back, really nicely done. You've got two different styles there. I think it looks awesome. Let's grab the miniature. We'll have a close look. This one's real chunky, but again, really great detail on this. All those pouches, the texture on there, the weapon is just all the little details there on the barrel. It's just brilliant. But I really like that pouch. You've got that military star pouch, which has got all the webbing on it. And he's got that heavy armor. The shield can pop off so you can get this painted and then put it on. So you're getting that force field effect coming from it. Really nice model. 
Next up, we've got Wraith. This is another contender for one of my favourites. I think the abilities that come in it, the dimensional rift ability, is just fantastic. That's going to be really fun to try out on the tabletop. But nice pack of cards, nice artwork on the back, two different styles again. Let's grab the Wraith miniature so you can have a close-up look at it. And this one's really cool. You've got a really nice base on this, very action pose, sprinting towards the enemy there. Uh, really great. Again, painting this up, contrast paints all day for me. I might try some other paints as well though on it, just to show you the different effects. But uh, with all these textures and details, the model is going to do all the work for you once you start painting it. I really like these bigger models. The 40mm is quite interesting too. Let's have a look at those dimensional rift miniatures then, and this is going to tie into some of the gameplay elements and zones. So with Wraith, you can put these up, use the ability, and then she can go through the dimensional rift and cover loads of ground across the battlefield really quickly. She's not the only one with some special little extras that go in the box. You can see here Bangalore has got the rolling thunder marker and miniature, and then Gibraltar has also got the defensive bombardment miniature too. Bangalore also comes with these two smoke miniatures. Each one's going to consist of two pieces. You put them together and then you can place them on the battlefield to give some extra cover. And then you can see you've got the four quadrants where the model fits in nicely. And then you know that there's going to be cover from the models. I've just put Blood Down in there. He stole the, uh, the cover for a second. Then Gibraltar comes with this Dome of Protection miniature. Again, two pieces and you don't have to paint this. It's all going to be done in this clear plastic. That can go on the tabletop and then that's going to give some bonuses too. You're going to get the protection on your model as well. You'll see all of these playing out in real time when I do the battle report next week. And that's going to go out just before the Kickstarter goes live on the 17th of May. Next, you're going to get four ring border miniatures included in the box set. And this, if you're familiar with the video game, is going to control the zones as it shrinks as the game develops. This is going to be really fun to play out with this skirmish board game and see how that affects things. You might get in a good position, but as the board shrinks, that's going to force you into that area and into danger of the other players. Now let's have a look at the cards and tokens. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a diceless game. So you're not gonna have any dice at all. It's all done with cards and tokens. You've got some weapon cards, which are really nicely laid out. Again, really crisp artwork, good quality card stock. On the back, you've got some images there as well. These weapon cards are on the larger size, as you can see here, quite chunky cards, really nice. And so you really know what you've got in front of you with all the details clearly laid out. And then you're going to have smaller cards like the supply bin cards where you can find other weapons and things. And then in these three bags, you've got common loot tokens in one bag, rare loot tokens in another and epic loot tokens in the third. And these are again in this nice thick card, so you really know you've got hold of it when you pick it up, and then they're going to be placed on the legend boards, which we're going to have a look at in a little while. Your box set that you get from the Kickstarter will have health and shield point styles. Now I've got these ones, which are just put in as part of the prototypes. Yours is going to look a little different to that, but they'll serve the same purpose. Then we've got another board here. This is the round board, so this is going to track the round, and again, you can place the tokens in the sections there. These little models I really like. These are the supply bin miniatures. You're going to get eight all together. I think these are really well done and get those painted up. If you want to, don't have to, but if you wanted to, I think they're going to look brilliant. Maybe do them in a nice colour so they stand out on the tabletop. And then you've got the respawn beacon miniatures. So again, just like the video game, there's elements built into this skirmish board game where you're going to be able to respawn and you use these beacon miniatures to mark those points. Really nice. And then you've got two supply drop miniatures. Again, very nice. Really like the, the detail, how crisp these are. And so really good indication of the quality you're going to get from the box set. Really nicely done. I think the 40 millimeter scale is really cool. I love the miniature sizes. And I think it just allows that extra detail to come through. Let's get back to these components though, because we've also got these ammo tokens. You're going to have all different ones, 12 of each, going from energy, light and heavy ammo. And then you've got 20 of each shotgun and sniper ammo too. That's covered the contents of the box and what you get in the starter set. But if you go to the Kickstarter and sign up for it, there's going to be some bonuses there available to you, including these bonus dioramas. These are awesome. These are going to reflect the characters. You get one for each character. And on these, you can place the models and their components. And they also act as a card holder during the game. I'll put a link in the description down below that will take you to the Apex Legends, the board game Kickstarter page. 
hit the notify me on launch and then you can follow the campaign and that'll also give you access to this free Lobra expansion if you pick up any of the different levels and you'll be able to find out more about these different board dioramas which I think will be a great addition to the game. The team from Glass Cannon Unplugged will be at the UK Games Expo in June. You'll be able to see the game in person, meet the developers who are also behind Frostpunk and Fantasia games and they're also working on Dying of the Light as well. That's some pretty impressive games in the portfolio there, so it'd be awesome if you could go along and meet them during the expo. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing the battle report that I'll be covering later next week. We'll be going through the Battle Royale game mode, which looks awesome, and again, it's going to reflect that gameplay that you'll be familiar with from the video game. My first impressions were just from the models especially, really great quality, that 40mm really shines through all those details that come on them. I like the ease of play and the fold up terrain, that's always really cool. And mixing the board game with skirmish game is a really interesting mechanic that I can't wait to share with you next week during the battle report. And I'll also do another video after that where I just do an assessment and an overview of the game and how I felt it played out. So thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please hit the like button subscribe for more videos like this one. It'd be great if you check out the link to the Kickstarter down below. But for now, thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.